buy dupes in all different products because we can't afford to buy the real thing. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side, my friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town already? No. Good morning, everyone. Let's stand here. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If this is the very first time that you've actually stopped by and uh, checked out my channel, thank you so, so much. And thank you once again to all of my lovely regular viewers and subscribers. I have something very different for you today. I have been thinking very hard, very long, <laughs> about how I'm going to kind of do this video, really. Um, it's it's no sort of biggie as in it's nothing to worry about or anything like that. So a company emailed me. I will pop the name of the company down just down below here so that you can you can see the name. Just in case I kind of mess the name up, I'm going to pop it down here down on the bottom of the screen. Um, probably about four or so weeks ago now and um, asking me if I'd like to review one of their handbags. Well, guys, those of you that know me, you know how much I love a handbag. I love handbags. I have so many handbags. I don't have, I think the only designer handbags that I have are Lulu Guinness. I have several Lulu Guinness handbags, as some of you will already know. Um, because they are just so reasonably priced, they are British made, and the prices are just affordable for most. The only designer handbags that I have are Lulu Guinness. I have several Lulu Guinness handbags, as some of you will already know. Um, because they are just so reasonably priced, they are British made and the prices are just affordable for most of us and in that range you can get things like key rings you can get well you used to be able to get diaries i used to love my diary from lula guinness but i don't think they do them anymore you can get socks you can get purses handbags uh luggage so there's lots of different things you can find them in outlet stores and you can often see lots of sales online and she has shops dotted all around you know around here there and everywhere and in london and um they're very affordable which is why i've had a lot of hers and beautifully made and very unusual the only other bag that I've had that is designer I'm sure that I call proper like designer is a Valentino which I have had for possibly 30 years something like that and it's still as good now as it was then. It's quite big and it's quite heavy because of the amount of leather in it. Um, it's a beautiful bag and I do use it sometimes, but I don't use it very often because of the weight of the bag. And then by the time I put everything in there, it's weighed down considerably. But I still absolutely love, love it. Anyway, getting back to this video. So as I said, the company asked me, they, met, they emailed me, as I say, roughly a month or so ago now asking if I'd like to review one of their bags. Um, I was very interested. I had a look at the website and everything. And my only concern is that some people will think they are an exact dupe for a designer bag. Um, they are very insane. They are very, very similar. Let's just say that they're very similar. Um, I do not own one of these bags, so I cannot do a comparison. I've never even looked up close and personal to one of these bags to even know what they really look like, um, as in how they feel, the quality or anything like that. But I agreed to do it purely on my love of handbags. Secondly, I thought, I love the design of it. And for me to buy a bag that looks very similar to this one would be way out of my price range. I just would not be able to do it. So I'm gonna show it to you. So, so let's try not to judge too much. It came packaged in like a black plastic bag over a cardboard box. This box was inside of the cardboard box. Now, um, my camera is on, I'm using my phone at the moment because my camera's on charge. So this is going to give you like a reverse 
um, the, the words are going to be reversed, the letters are all going to be reversed, but you'll know what I mean as soon as I pick it up. Um, but this is the box it came in. And there we go. So when I opened the box, the, the cardboard box, this is what was inside. And it's stunning. It's a beautiful box. But on first inspection, let me say, if this had been a proper designer bag, um, I would not have been happy. But I know this isn't probably anyone's fault. It's all to do with, obviously, the in transit, possibly. Um, but the box has been damaged here. You can see um, it's damaged here in the corner let me see if i can show you properly there it's damaged there in the corner it's got some damage on this corner here so although it's a really nice box and i can use it to store several things in um had this been a designer bag a proper designer bag i would not have been happy about that and i probably would have sent it back because I don't even know how much these particular bags go for, but I'm guessing they go for quite a bit of money, right? Um, so it opens, so this box opens like this. Okay, so it's magnetic. And so you've got a nice box here if you wanted to keep the bag in it or to store stuff in it. The bag comes in a dust cover, which is a nice, a nice dust cover, I have to say feels like um, a cotton it's a very nice dust bag it also comes with a gift bag if you're gifting it to somebody so it comes with all this beautiful ribbon so that you you can if you you know you can tie the box up you can tie the bag up or you can just present it beautifully all done up in a ribbon um, obviously I haven't done that it also comes with I mean, this blows my mind, honestly. It absolutely blows my mind. Like, I really don't know how some companies get away with it. A, a Louis Vuitton little, oops, um, little book um, with possibly descriptions. I don't know because it's not English inside. So I couldn't, can't read what is actually in there. Um, but it does come with a little... Um, a Louis Vuitton like little card there and again here this is like a little Louis Vuitton but then inside it is Chinese so they are trying to make it look as authentic as possible I imagine anyway and then you've got this um, and this is like a little docket Louis Vuitton um, Hong Kong Limited and then it's got a price and then it comes with another Louis Vuitton in an envelope you've got your card there isn't a um, like a serial number on the card or anything like that so I would expect that if it's the genuine thing then it would have a serial number um, also comes with a receipt saying Louis Vuitton um, but then it does have the the net the shop and the um, the district in Hong Kong on it and then it has a another kind of receipt thing let's undo the bag then shall we i have looked at it and it is absolutely beautiful so you've got your dust bag like this and this is the bag so i'm guessing it is very similar to the bag i mean as i say i don't know i haven't seen the genuine bag to know if it's exactly the same or even what this one is called to be honest with you i just like the look of it i was allowed to choose from there were several bags there that i could choose from and um, i wanted something that was very practical very lightweight um 
and very roomy really so I chose this one and I chose it on the basis of the size that I it didn't look as though it's going to be too heavy because there didn't seem to be like loads of pockets and loads of different hardware and chain handles and stuff like that um so this is why I went for this bag and I thought it you know it's okay for all year round as well because obviously autumn and winter it's great and because you've got the lighter color on the handles you can use it sort of spring and summer so I'm just going to take this off so I've just got to get these little bits of plastic off but um if you were actually purchasing this bag then it is very well protected but um i would still be annoyed at the state of the box if you were buying that to give that to somebody and um, that box is a little bit dented i would have to sort of well i wouldn't be too happy about that anyway let's just say but um yeah it's transit and it can happen to anyone and any item i guess so it's just got a magnetic closure here on the oops, let me put it that way. On the inside here, it's got magnetic close, closure, and it literally does. See, it just pulled together straight away. So if I show you up close, for this, I'm just going to let it go together. Click like that. So it's got an excellent closure to it. Inside of the bag, it's got a couple of those little things to keep it dry. The lining of the bag is it's coming over a little bit darker than it is actually on camera but it is quite if they go you can see the color there and then inside it has got a pocket on the back wall Let's see if i can show you that so in here there you go it's got a pocket here on the back wall um and my hand can go quite away into that so that's to keep stuff like nice and secure say and then you've got your um, your little brand leather label sewn in there. That says Louis Vuitton Paris, that's there. And it also is edged with the red, which I know is, I think, the like authentic bag does actually come with that red um, on the edges of the leather. Um, also, I've got to show you in here, um, it has got a couple of like the little luggage labels here and here. Um, this one I need to do up, I haven't done that one up yet. But a couple of those, and they're the same colour as the strap with the red around the edges, look. And, um, and you can, you know, put your details in there. And uh, yeah, attach those to your bag if you want to. Um, so I'm going to just stand it up and let's see what this looks like on. So it's quite a short handle, but it, you know, it does fit over my shoulder nicely. It, I don't think it would have had a coat on, but, um, or a thick jumper probably wouldn't, but it is very comfortable here on the shoulder. Um, but you can also, obviously you can hold it like in the crook of your arm if you want to. We could just carry it because it's quite a short handle. Um, the bag I do love. I love the design of the bag. Now this is the thing, isn't it? This is what I was thinking about. Um, I know there's a lot of ill feeling towards buying dupes. But I think we buy dupes, products, in all different products. Um, for example, there's a supermarket out there, isn't there, that do a lot of dupe beauty products and lots of us buy them because we can't afford to buy the real thing. They, but in actual fact, they claim to do the same thing. And a lot of people, including myself, who've used those beauty products from that certain supermarket and others, of course, um, feel exactly the same. And sometimes you feel like, well, why can't I enjoy that product or that item just because I can't afford it? I'm not somebody who would be out there boasting saying I've got a Louis Vuitton bag look at me I can afford a Louis Vuitton bag no 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 I wouldn't do that I've always said to um, anyone if I've bought a dupe from as you know as they 
as it's known as a dupe, isn't it? A duplicate for the original. Um, and I thought it was lovely and it was an affordable price. Crikey, I would shout that from the rooftops. Why should we? Because we can't afford to buy those real items. Why can't we afford to buy something very similar? But there's no way I would say it was, I don't know, the branded one when it's not. Um, but it does the same job. So I don't like this idea of being able to miss out on something that's really nice and something that's really good. So this is why I kind of accepted to do this unboxing because I love the bag. This bag, if it had, no, if it had my name on it, Elsie, I'd love it because I love the bag. I love I love the feel of it, I like the roominess, I like how it feels, it's white clean, um, it's a nice looking bag, it's not tiny, it's not huge, it's just a really, really nice bag. And so I felt they've offered me to choose a bag, I've chosen one that I like, regardless to whether it was the real thing or not. I like it, I like the bag, but I did struggle about doing this video because I don't want people to think, you know, just because some of us might choose to buy dupes or choose to accept a gift like this from a company who clearly have the market to, to make men and women feel as though you're not left out and still feel good and still feel that you can have something really, really nice without feeling guilty, without feeling shamed for it. And that's what I wanted to get across is, and the other thing is, to be honest, I, you see a lot of people with their designer bags are they? Are they? Would you know? I wouldn't know. I honestly don't think I would know. The only way I would know, I think, is if I was to go into a shop, like a Chanel shop or um, Selfridges or somewhere like that, and and or go into like my, um, the Lulu Guinness stores that I go into, then I know it's the real thing. If somebody was selling something online as a Lulu Guinness bag or whatever, um, I wouldn't know. How would I know if it was real or not? I actually genuinely would not know, would I? Um, and I know they have, a lot of designers have like serial numbers and stuff, but uh, apparently it's even still quite difficult to get the serial number authenticated. I think that's a bit of a process. I think you have to pay for it. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really grateful for receiving this. As I say, you know, I haven't done this video to do, to pretend it. It's a real one. It's not a real one. I'd like to thank the company for allowing me to choose a bag. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Let me know how you stand on this, what you think. Let me know if your opinions are similar to mine. But yeah, I absolutely like it. Really love it. Anyway, guys, that brings me to the end of the video. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a, a like, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you in the comments below. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Bye bye. Thank you.